everybody, I'm Bea Rieger here, and today I'm going to be setting my planner for February. So I figured I would jump on and share how I do the process. I gotta get rid of this. Uh, I like the 23 for, for the month of January, but I'm not feeling it for this month. So I am actually going to go with this cover from the, I think it was the fall line, this vertical planner. So I'm gonna take this planner off or take this cover off and take this cover off. And I'm gonna go with gold rose metal discs. So let's put that together first. Okay, so let's put this together first. Okay, my base is there. So now let's go back to this planner. Um, I'm going to bring my first part of the planner. I've already started setting up for Valentine's Day or for February, I guess you can call it. But I need to change a few things because at this this planner has the self-care part first and I'm pretty good about filling out like my self-planner and my gratitude and all that. However, I have been lacking with my business stuff. So I'm gonna go with business first. Um, not business, budget first. And I need a base for this, for these discs. So they're not moving over too much so let's do the budget real quick and actually I'm gonna bring all these over but I am not going to bring actually let me let me set this up first I want the work planner to be the last one, but my work planner is actually, this January one is already done. All I need is the weekly. Yeah. So let's bring my work planner here. The month is already done because I prep it. I usually prep at the, on the 15th of the month. And so this is gonna go here and I need my my daily I need to go in here and for break in here. Okay, that's gonna be the end of my plan. We just needed that base there. Okay, so now I need to finish this part. The beginning part is going to be the budget. So January, I have a few more days to put into my planner. So I need to move all this over. Over here. Okay, perfect. And I need to add February to it. So let's bring over the budget planner for February. And this will go here to track my January expenses all across the board. And then because we are big, like, mm, paycheck planners, I don't really use these two, but I need to use 
I'm a huge paycheck planner. I like to go where I like to know where every dollar goes in our paychecks. My husband is not great at that. He does um, yearly and monthly budgets. I like to know where everything goes. And because I'm not gonna be using this page, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two together. Like so. And these two together. Perfect. And I bring this all the way down, all the way in. Okay, so now when I open February, we have our expenses. We have our paycheck one, paycheck two. I need a couple of more, or not a couple more. I just need one page, this one, that has both because I get paid every week. Okay, and then we have a weekly tracker, perfect. Budget is done, budget planner, out. Work planner, out, and I have to find a cover for it. Okay, two down. Um, my business slash social media planner, what I wanted to go for next. So we have February, we have work. This is all work. Wait a minute, this is all work. So this, oh, I put it all the way at the end. That's not gonna work. Perfect, okay, I was, Something wasn't making sense. Okay. Perfect. Work. Uh, social media slash all things umpy coming up. Okay, yes, here. This is gonna be like video checklist. along with all the social media I want to start posting. And since we have a couple of days left in the month, the whole month of January comes. I have these trackers here. I'm gonna move them over for now, but I haven't been using in a month, so I don't know that I am going to use them, we'll see. And before social media, I need to add February, and this planner is dashboard, dashboard. So it's this one, and I go to, this dashboard is 18 months, however, I only bought it for 2013 because last year I had a big planner, so I have some extra dashboards to play with, which I'm not bad about. I mean, the whole plan, I think it was like 10 bucks, so. Okay, business, done. Done, okay. These two are gonna be my main focus this month. The budget, the business, content planning, uh, a couple of projects I have with Mandy Summers. And so that goes all over here. Next, I have either wellness, catch-all daily stuff so I think I'm gonna go with next I'm gonna do like my to-do I like having these notes types like my to-do is mainly like the weekly hourly planner I like to have, have an idea of what my days are gonna look like this is my main focus at night time so that will go next this here and I need to add February. So for this one, that is actually a student planner that I put together in this planner already to maximize disk space. So this is February. And this, like I said, is a student planner. So it has 
the monthly, which I don't use. This cute little notes. And then this. And unfortunately, I can't get rid of, oh, well, yeah, I can get rid of this. And save that in case I ever need. Oh, this is a good, um, like, project planning. This is a great to-do list, but I will not be using this. So I will glue that together. So now when I open up my February, it goes straight to the weekly. Done. Perfect. After my weeklies, I like to do, I like to have extra daily sheets. However, these daily sheets are all used, so I'm gonna leave them there to kind of clean up after. I'm gonna have my daily here. And let's bring the daily planner and just grab a few sheets. Okay. I bring up a lot especially Mondays and Wednesdays, which is kind of like to like start of the week and then see where I'm at. And then Fridays at home mostly, but okay. So those are my dailies. I need some note paper, which I most definitely ran out of here. So that goes, whoo, that goes here. And let's see, do I have any note paper here? I think I do. I do? I do. Perfect. All right. Notes. Perfect. Okay. And then at the very end, I am doing my catch all. I guess right before work because that's a planner that I depend on. Like my life works around my catch-all planner. So I'm always looking at it. This is too much, hold on. So it's a planner, like these two planners are no brainers for me. The catch-all and obviously my week planner is always going to be there as soon as I get into work. So. Again, I have a few inserts here, but I'm not seeing myself using them much, so I don't know. I'm going to give them another month if I don't use them. They're out. Okay, January, because this is getting pretty pretty thick already. Um, I don't need January, actually. No, I don't. Okay, so January can stay there until I do clean up. And I'm going to bring February here. My daily. And February here. Perfect. So let me just check the flow here. This got pretty thick pretty fast. Okay, we have, first I go to budget. Then I go to business. Then I go to to-dos. Okay, yeah. And then I have weekly to-do catch all work. Okay, perfect. So that is going to be my February planner. And that works out great. And then all I have to do is just, oh my God, no. Wellness. What was I thinking? And that is like one that I always use. What is this here? Why is January here? Oh, because it's paycheck. Okay, we're still we're still working on that. Okay. I am so confused now that I mixed the whole shenanigans. Wellness has to go before to do. It's like that's just the order I live I live by. I always wake up and do my self-care. That has to go here. I'm gonna check that. And that's basically, you know what though? I don't need January's to do anymore. Because what I do is I have my goal sheet here. 
because what I do is I have my goals, my goals stuff here and then habit tracker and then these daily stuff that these are for the last couple of days of the month. So I gotta, yeah, I gotta take it. Okay. Self care comes with me. And then gratitude. I think we're done with gratitude for this one. Yeah, gratitude's gotta stay there. And we're going to add. right here and this is also a planner where I don't use this page so whoop. these two are gonna go there and I just need a few of these to start up the month How cute is that? Okay. I don't use the stop one because I do one goal sheet. But I do use the weekly. So that goes right here. And then I'll finish the habit trackers this month. I I have to say, I don't like this habit tracker. I like the weekly habit tracker. So that may be a change that I incorporate in February. But now it is done and it is thick. Yes. I wake up in the mornings and I go straight to wellness. And right after wellness, I go to my to-dos. And I put everything, like my to-do list here. And I get all these lists from either the catch-all, my work planner, my business schedule or whatever I'm working on that day. That's what I put on my business. And then I'm constantly checking through all my catch-all to make sure what things I need to work on and add to my daily. You know, when I get to work, obviously I don't wanna show that one because it has information that I can't share. And then also if I need to do anything for you know, the business and all that kind of stuff. I guess this one can go also. This one is done. Yeah. Okay, so this one is done. That gives me a little extra room. I need to work on this monthly. This is basically this week. Well, this is this week. And I just have a couple more days in here to finish up my January. Perfect. All right. How can we get a little more wiggle room here? Well, January is going to come out of here. And that's, oh, and here. Perfect. Okay. We got a little extra plan with. That is my February planner setup. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when my next video is up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy planning.